Yo, what up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for watching another video. Oh, oh hold on. Let me just take this in real quick. All right. I wasn't going to make a video today, but I was like, you know what? The biggest piece to my S2000 that I've been waiting for for like a month and a half, almost two months, came in today and I was like, mom, dad, clear out the garage. I'm coming today. Holy crap. I'm so excited to freaking put this on the car. I feel like this is the cherry on top that I truly have been missing on my S2000 ever since I first got it. Like this is something I've worn on the car since like I freaking first got it. And I cannot believe I fucking finally have it guys. Like I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Oh my God, dude, I'm like excited. I'm like shaking right now. Ooh, I love new car parts, bro. Like the emotions and the happiness and the overwhelming just like joy I get from like installing a new car part and like changing the overall look of my car. Bro, it's a feeling only a few will truly understand. Like if you're a car enthusiast and you buy new parts and you slap them on your car, like you truly know the feeling, like the sensation, the happiness you get from doing this shit, dude. Like, whoo, like I'm out of breath right now. All right, so behind me, Oh man, it's gonna be the cherry on top of my build, dude. I'm excited as fuck, dude. All right, I'm trying to like restrain myself, but behind me, I got the cherry on top from my S2000. Can you guys guess what it is? Do you guys, you guys know what I need for the car? You guys, you guys have seen my build. You guys have seen the S2000 for quite a bit now. You guys have seen what it's been through, how it looks, and can you guys guess what I need for the car? What I need to make it be like, ah, damn, that's an S2K. That ain't no Miata. This is a big freaking box, dude. Like, this thing is massive. Let me put the camera down so you guys see how massive this is. All right, so I'm like, I'm like 5'10", 5'11 on a good day. Like, bro, like, like, bro, like, what? what? This thing is huge. <laughs> like, look at this. <laughs> this thing is fucking massive, dude. All right, I can't even wait anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the S2K in and we're gonna start slapping this on because I need to see this on the car ASAP. All right, so you guys can't really tell on camera, but this car is filthy right now. I got dirt on it. It's just, it ain't looking that hot, but honestly, it's all good. We're basically just gonna slap this on and I just, I, I can't wait anymore. This part needs to go on the car as of yesterday. All right, so we need to grab something. We need to get whatever we can to freaking open up that box and let's see what is in the box because y'all need to see this. Let's go find something. This will do fine. All right, where do we even begin, dude? It's like Christmas, bro. <laughs> and it's freaking April. God damn. Guess it start sniffing. All right, I think we need to take the box outside. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. <laughs> Holy crap. Are you guys ready to see it? Oof, let's get into it. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and retract the soft top real quick just to get that prepped up. So before I even continue guys, uh, I'm not really gonna go into detail of how to install the part. I have a previous video made like two years ago of how to install a hard top already, so it should be pretty self-explanatory. Retract the soft top, take off the brackets holding on the inside of the soft top that enables it to latch down and then transfer everything over to the hard top. And then also just install the two brackets that they get, that forbidding gives you on the sides and it's easy as pie. Ooh. You guys already know what this is. I'm pretty sure <laughs> we got another hard top boys. But not just any hard top. This is the hard top I've been wanting for the longest time for the S2K. Something that needed, I needed pretty damn bad to match all the little CF accents that I have on the car. And like I said, this is gonna be the cherry on top. So this is a forbidden USA hard top. I did purchase this from them, from them about a month and a half, two months ago. And honestly, I didn't know they were gonna send this stuff. They sent all this weather mold stuff that you can install onto the hard top. So that way you don't get any water inside the cab and it's supposed to help restrict the airflow so like if you have any type of wind breeze going inside the hardtop at all this stuff is supposed to help 
like not make it that much or at least get it somewhat close to eliminating all the wind cabin noise that you get they went ahead and sent these brackets as well these are pretty cool all black nice hey <laughs> this car looks so different without the soft top on the drop top vibes this car has is freaking awesome okay so to not make things boring i'm gonna go ahead and install the weather guard on the sides and the rear of the hard top so i will see you guys in a second all right so i'm gonna need my dad's help again to get a second person to install hard top on so let me get him real quick didn't you have one of these already <laughs> i did but this is the carbon fiber one which carbon yes, it's lighter. yeah is it the same kind nice it looks good. It's look good. Yeah. You're not putting stickers on it. No, I'm not gonna put stickers on it. Stickers on it? So you go faster. How is it supposed to go faster? I'm recording. You guys are roasting me. <laughs> Sorry. Dude. Wait, is this actually happening? Holy crap. Look at that. Look at that carbon fiber fucker. Bro, that thing looks so good. Let me bump up my eyes up. You can see better at Look at that. Oh my god, dude. That looks so good. Dude, I missed having a hard top so much. Oh my goodness. And this one fits so much better than my last one. Oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and button everything up. So I saw that's either it's easier to put on those weather guards. You can't really see it because I was bumped up, but the weather guards they gave you that go right here, the seals, it's easier to put them on once the hard top is fully installed. Um, I already did the rear one that goes back here. That one's already set and in place, but I'm gonna go ahead and install these brackets and those weather guards. See you guys in a bit. Hard top is fully installed. Got the weather strip all nice and set up right here on the sides. The inside plate to hold the hard top to the car is all set. Oh my God, dude, this looks so good. Oh my God. Last thing you do. And it's official. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and back out the car so we can see it in the sunlight. Holy cow, dude, this car looks so good right now. Oh my god, dude. Got the headlights looking good, we got the wheels looking good, they're hella dirty, but still. And we got the carbon fiber. Oh my god. We got the taillights too, the depot taillights. Oh my goodness. This car is coming out so good, guys. Ever since I bought the car, this has been something I've always wanted is a carbon fiber hardtop. 
to match the APR side mirrors I got, carbon fiber, and to also match my JDP duckbill, which is also carbon fiber. Next thing I for sure I wanna get is a carbon fiber rear diffuser, carbon fiber side skirts, and maybe a carbon fiber front lip. I don't know yet, we'll see about that because I do like riding low, so I know for a fact it's gonna get messed up. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the carbon fiber hardtop, guys. Oh my god, I'm in love with this car. Oh. And the fitment on this hardtop, on point. Perfect. Compressed. Hopefully there's no air leaks or any water gets into that. Like my hardtop, that was one of the major issues I had. But from what I'm seeing right now, this looks damn pretty good. All right guys, that being said, I want to say thank you for watching another video. I appreciate it so much, all the love and support. Like, I genuinely really appreciate it, guys, more than you guys will ever understand. I hope you guys are loving the build so far. Um, the S2000, I can't believe it's coming together, dude. This is like my dream car, and I still can't believe I'm actually building it to my actual like envisionment, which is super crazy. Um, stay tuned for some more Lexus content. I got a bunch of that coming. Got so many parts for that. I actually have some more parts for the S2000 that I'm going to install in the near future. With that being said, guys, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and a subscription, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.